Hey guys, how's it going? This is Fixer Med. Welcome back to my channel for another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how you can connect your Ocu remote to your Mac device in a quick and effective manner. For the sake of this tutorial, you're just going to need a Mac that is compatible with Bluetooth, whether it is through a Bluetooth module or a USB Bluetooth dongle. You're going to need an Ocu remote that is charged up and ready to go. And you're gonna need an active internet connection if you choose to download the Anki Remote customized button remapping software. Before we get started on this tutorial, I'd also like to thank the Anki Remote team for sending me one of their remotes so that I can make content on it for you guys. So I appreciate that so much. And without further delay, let's go ahead and get started on today's tutorial. I'm only gonna be consulting the uh, Anki Quick Start Guide here to give you guys a visual aid on the one other prerequisite we're going to need before syncing or connecting the Anki remote via Bluetooth. So there are two modes that are available on the Anki remote called key and game mode, key and game mode. To make your connection process simple, ensure that your Anki remote is set to the key mode where you have to slide the knob towards the buttons, not towards the joystick, but yet ensure you slide it towards the buttons. So if you're holding it like this, the joystick is north and the buttons are south. So slide your knob down south and it should be good to go. Once you do that, press and hold the start button. Once you press and hold the start button, you should see your Anki remote blink twice. And once it starts blinking continuously afterwards, you are in syncing mode. Once you're in syncing mode, you can open up your system settings, open up your Bluetooth settings, and then you should see Anki remote pop up. Go ahead and click connect here connected easy and since we're in key mode these are the controls that come built into the remote i'm going to go ahead and test it out test this out on my anki software you can see space bar is good or is easy Oop, let me go back and read that because i think that's important i'm going to go ahead and read out the controls that are coming in built in with the key mode X equals spacebar slash good. A equals easy slash four. B is hard slash two. And Y is again slash one. And then start is dex. Select is browse. Page up is the joystick up. Page down is joystick down. Reveal hint is joystick right. And what I found is joystick left is undo. I'll show you guys that before I download the uh, button remapping software, which I don't have downloaded yet, but I'll show you guys how that works. I'm just gonna go ahead. Okay, so I got all those cards suspended. So I'll go to medical Spanish, study now, I'm gonna mute it. So X, as you can see, is spacebar good. And if I wanna show the answer again, I hit X again, Soy and if I got Soy it enfermero. as hard, I'll hit A, El easy as B, For and then as you can see, it's again now, which is Y. Or so cool. And if I do joystick left, I should be able to undo it, but I guess that setting isn't available on the Mac. Interesting. Very interesting. So it seems joystick left is undo on Windows, but not on the Mac. I'll be testing that out with the Anki Remote well, software as well to see if it's fixed once I get the Anki Remote button mapping software in. So moving on to the next part of the video, the Anki Remote button mapping software. If you want to customize your remote more, which most people would want to do, I assume, you can go ahead and download the Anki Remote customized software. You can get the download code from the end of the web address, or you can get it from the download section. I'll be sure to leave this in the uh, description down below so you guys can go ahead and get it as well. Add-ons, oh, I, I, I didn't say it properly, but tools, add-ons, get add-ons, copy the code in, okay. It's gonna process, it's gonna process, okay. Restart on key now.
I'm gonna go ahead and update this as well too. Just don't want to deal with that notification all the time. On Remote, the add-on should pop up here. It should be one of the first ones that pop up if you don't have too many add-ons installed. But if it's not showing up, go to Tools, Add-ons, On Remote, and voila, it pops up. Oop. Just gotta move this out of the way. Cool. Yeah, I don't know why I can't close it. The Mac gives me more trouble than Windows, which is not, which is saying a lot. I gotta go ahead and restart this. If it does give you issues, I guess restart the software and it should work better. I should probably also update my system, but for the sake of the video, I will do it this way. So I'm on key mode. And as you can see, undo in theory should be mapped to the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Try some new cards. Uh, I, yeah, sometimes on key can be unintuitive when it comes to this stuff. I just lost all my progress on my on king deck. So that was fun. Gonna go ahead and get some new cards going. Let's see, spacebar. Okay, so undo is working with the left key now. I'm not hitting any uh, keyboard. Wonderful. Excellent. So as you can see, I'm hitting good, easy, hard, etc. And I'm not using my keyboard, I'm just using the uh, remote. So I can see my button mapping is working. You can customize it however you want. Um, I personally think the default setup is good. If you want the undo key, you might have to get the software. So keep that in mind if joystick isn't working. But yeah, guys, it's working pretty well for me. So I'm a pretty happy camper with that for now. So yeah. If you guys have any questions on how to set up your Anki remote further, please be sure to type them up in the comment section below. And one fair warning, if you do have your Anki remote connected with your system, I believe the space bar won't work if you have the space bar map. I guess it does on Mac, but on Windows, space bar wasn't working for me when I had both the Anki remote synced and the Anki remote software active. So. Just keep that in mind if you're on Windows as well and are accidentally watching this video. I do have a Windows specific tutorial. So if you guys want to check that out instead, if you're on a Windows device, that might help you more. But yeah, for Mac, it seems on camera is a great choice. Very easy to use. Intuitive. Downside is it doesn't have as many buttons as the 8-bit though. Upside is you can just kind of just, you know, connect it and go. You don't have to worry about anything. But yeah, guys, so I appreciate the time you guys took in watching this video. Um, that's all I have for today. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you don't. Be sure to leave a sub if you want more content like this in the future. But yeah, guys, as always, good luck studying. And be sure to have a great day as always. Goodbye.